Thank you so much for joining me. The retro series continues as we go back into Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy. I'm Solid Dead Sassy. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I left off the last video uh, rummaging around in the boggy swamp. But now uh, there's another path I'm going to go take and see what's on that side. Uh, we need 40 power cells. We got 40. Well, we need 45. We got 40 power cells. Um, okay, so they show you. All right. Yeah, but we need 40 of these to uh move that boat out the way. Um, if you watch the last video, you know what I mean. Um, I play this about once a week, so sometimes I gotta go through the uh, start the game and then stuff start um, coming back to me. Um, like I said, it's more of an open world game. Of course, this is the original Jack and Daxter, so I never played any of the Jack and Daxter games until this one, so now I'll be interested in playing the other ones now that I kind of like this game, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play. Usually be about between a half hour to 50 minutes so that's the uh, how long the video would be um, I just want to thank everybody for the other projects um, Sonic Mania and Mega Man of course um, has been uh, two of my retro games that I've been playing a lot of so um, uh, the sports blog is up right now for this for the Thursday night edition this week of course today is Thursday so Eagles and Panthers do battle tonight on the football field and it's a big game um, in the NFC definitely so um, probably the best Thursday night game on paper we've had so far hopefully it's a good game as well um, just want to say thanks to all my uh, subscribers everybody who uh, supports the channel and watch like I said I do playthroughs not tutorials it's a big difference um, I just like to let people know that so I basically like I said, this is my first experience with this game, so that's basically usually be my goal for the most part, give you my, my experience, not just the sh basically, I don't want to say show off, that's maybe the wrong word, but, you know, yeah, I want to, you know, be successful, but that's my goal ain't to really much show, okay, well, I'm the best, or I'm trying to give, which I don't, I won't mind giving tips and stuff which I do still sometimes but it's not my main thing I do I just basically it's a playthrough um, but all right I'm gonna get started so I have more time to play um, I just want to say thanks to everyone um, I'll come back at the end of the video to thank you guys and I appreciate all your support Solid the Assassin here enjoy the video talk to you at the end City yet? You should really try and raise the room the Blue Sage was after. My eyes must be deceiving me, because I know that the two of you are deep in the Precursor Basin, saving the dark eco-infected plants.
This stone is very old. Here is another power cell for your quest.
Master! Yuck. Nothing to...
at the funeral, like, how am I gonna get changed back now?
Welcome back to the retro series. I'm gonna end the video here with Jack and Dash to the Precursor Legacy. Um, as you see, I've been trying to get all the orbs in the Lost Precursor City. City, it was pretty difficult. Um, I'm going to try to um, probably go back here, but I'm gonna uh, lift that uh, that rock. Um, I guess probably wind up fighting a monster. I might go ahead and do that now um, Right after this video. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna wait a whole nother week. So matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, Then after I do that, I'll probably end that video. It'll probably be much shorter video than this one um, I just want to thank everybody as always for uh, supporting the channel um, Shout out to my man Retro Ryan Gaming. He's a real retro um Adusius playing a lot of Crash Bandicoot and he liked this game as well. So hopefully somehow he can Hopefully I don't know if it's a way you can um, Purchase this game on the PlayStation in the PlayStation Store separately, but I got it through when I uh, I pre-ordered Uncharted The Lost Legacy and This game was included in it. So I say I'll give it a shot and I might have liking it myself um, my thing with this game that's starting to really annoy me, which I haven't brought up yet, but it's been annoying me since the beginning, is the camera angles. The camera angles throw me off, and of course, platforming is always difficult trying to jump. Like, I don't know how, I don't know if I'm just not jumping right trying to get the other, um, precursor orb, or is it something I gotta do, or, I don't know, I try to jump and just jump up there, it didn't let me grab it, so... I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if I just got to jump a certain way to get up there. I might try that again as well. But I ain't want to keep wasting my time trying to jump up there and keep falling. So I say I try to do something else. So we'll go ahead and edit this video. Put it up on a playlist. And um, I'll move on and um, go to the machine to lift that rock. And see what, um, uh, what challenges I have ahead of me with that. Um, I just want to say thank you as always. Um, look out. Um, I'm, a, I'm, mad, I'm sorry if anybody watching now, uh, especially if you doing mad, I'm definitely going to get a mad game in during the weekend sometime. So look out for it. But I'm going to do another NBA live video probably later on tonight. Um, I think it's the Warriors and the, I mean, um, Thunder. I think they play the Spurs, I think. Um, not 100% sure what the game was. But um, um, it'll be a, definitely a game played tonight in the franchise mode. All right, I'm going to go to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned. It'll be another, I'm going to do another uh, Jack and Dash the Precursor Legacy video right after this one. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon.